Hello Immerse users, it's Whitney with Embody and we have a brand new plugin update for you. The team at Embody is excited to bring you this Immerse Virtual Studio update, which works with both All Access and Audio Technica versions. In this video, I will be walking you through some key features and important changes that you are not going to want to miss. So let's take a look. Our biggest reveal is that the newest version of Immerse Virtual Studio is now compatible with Apple M1. Due to its significantly decreased CPU usage, it looks like M1 is going to catch on for music producers and content creators. With this update, early adopters of M1 can run Immerse natively for a faster and more reliable experience. If you're an M1 user, we would love to know about your experience using M1 for music production. So feel free to share it with us in the comments. Next up, this update comes with an expanded headphone selection. We have three new headphone profiles available, which include Audio-Technica ATH-M40X, Sennheiser HD 280 Pro, and Sony MDR 7506 reference headphones. This makes Immerse even more accessible as each of these headphones cost under a hundred bucks. And if your favorite headphones aren't on the list yet, we still have the universal presets. Based on the feedback of our community, we've added adjustable headphone EQ for Sonarworks compatibility. The EQ control allows you to adjust the amount of headphone preset to suit your specific listening needs. This means that Immerse can now be run simultaneously with Sonarworks Sound ID reference. People have different preferences when it comes to how they experience sound. So now you'll have even more options and precise control over your audio. Last but not least, we've significantly improved our limiter. Immerse uses processing which expands the dynamic range of your mix. This potentially results in transient peaks. So this parameter lets you view both RMS and LUFS meters and you'll be able to see when the limiter is engaged. You won't always need to use this feature, especially if you're working on a mix that has a lot of headroom. However, if you're listening to mastered or very loud material, you may want to have the limiter on to ensure your peak levels don't go above clipping. We recommend leaving the limiter on the default setting as it's set to be the most transparent and engages only when needed at the loudest peaks. We have a special discount of 30% off through July 21st, 2021. For existing IVS users, this update is free. And as always, you can try before you buy by downloading our free 14-day trial. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoy this update.